I'm speaking quite quietly because I'm in accommodation and I don't want my flatmates to hear but um, I'm running on one and a half hours of sleep and that half hour was the half hour I end up sleeping in the car Sacrifice to your Lord alone In Nashani The one who insults you is Abda um, Yesterday, which was Sunday, we were giving iftars to people so we had 10 houses to go around to and give iftar to them um, so we were very very occupied with that and obviously afterwards I was going to be very 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 tired so I couldn't really fall asleep at night I slept at like 2 wake up at 3 and then I had sehri it took me an hour to eat sehri and then read fajr and then clear up the dining table and stuff so 5 to 6 after I was done praying fajr it was me just waiting for my brother to leave the house with me and he was taking his time and then we decided to leave the house, so we left at 6. Um, and then I got back here for about 8.30, 8.20, yeah, it was Basically there's something wrong with my toilet and I've put multiple requests to like get it sorted out but they just say okay we've done it but nothing's actually been done. So I've given up now, I just come and clean it every time because I really don't care anymore. So I've got a tutorial, a CPT tutorial, which is from 10.15 to 11.45, which is why I was just ironing my clothes. I was going to have a nap for like an hour, but there's no point because the time right now is 8.53, .50, so there's no point in me going to bed now. So I'm going to go get ready to go to uni, and then do the tutorial, which is one and a half hours, after which we'll, I'll come back, um, and then I've made a plan for my day. I will hopefully adhere to that because me and my uh, friend we're meeting up for a third to make some muscle chart and then I need to go gym and then I also need to get lectures done because I'm quite behind. So I thought I'd try out a little kind of talk with me <laughs> while I'm getting ready for uni about medical school in general. So um, this is so awkward, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. I feel so self-conscious even though there's no one here. Um, medical school is one place where you're going to be behind even before it's one place where you're going to be behind even before you've started and I feel like it's most people who are behind obviously you're going to have a few anomalies here, not anomalies I wouldn't call them anomalies, you're going to have a few people here and there who are very very prepared usually who are, who've like even watched lectures ahead for next week and whatnot. but most people are usually behind i know one person she's like 34 lectures behind i'm probably like 200 lectures behind i don't think that's possible but i think i've managed that anyway but this tp has been about um neuro head and neck kind of pharmacy and whatnot compared to the first tp that was about respiratory system repro gi so that was mostly conditions and how the body systems work Whereas this, this is very, very anatomy based. Head and neck. Head and neck is basically all just muscles and muscles and muscles. Where each muscle attaches, where it originates, what each muscle is innervated by, like the nerve, the blood supplies, its functions. So watching one lecture now takes me about 20 years. And because of that, my motivation has actually gone down quite a lot this teaching period, which isn't good because I should be more motivated as this is a much harder um, 
much harder kind of term so hence why i've decided to make myself a very strict schedule so i can actually stick to it catch up on lectures because i need as soon as we come back after the holidays we're going to have my uh, summative exam which counts to birds 30 percent of whether i can progress onto the next stage or not so i really 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 need to pass and i did um quite well i was going to say an islamic word but i'm in the toilet <laughs> um in my first one and i want to keep that going um my formative that i had didn't go so well because I'm pretty sure it didn't go too well because I I actually hadn't revised a lot for it. Wow, I made such a mess. I hadn't revised a lot for it, but I I would spend that time kind of cutting off the lectures instead of prioritizing revision. So when we get the results back, we'll see how badly I've done. But my summative, I actually want to get a good decile and a good great and a good like good marks, and I want to not just borderline pass. I want to pass with a good margin. So hence why I need to really get on with um, getting the work done. We also had GP placement. So we had um, one day a week for about five weeks this teaching period. Um, we finished placement last week, which was an interesting week. Um, I was also so sceptical to actually make this video because there's people in med school who started to find my channel. It's not like I'm doing anything wrong, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of that self-conscious like being really self-conscious about making videos that i know my colleagues not colleagues my peers are going to see and it's just i don't know yeah so <laughs> it's taken an extra lot of courage to actually make this let's see if i even end up uploading it or not but yeah that's med school the place where you're behind even before you start uh so i finished getting ready for uni and i also realized i kind of look like i work for qatar airways <laughs> I then went to my tutorial, which was one and a half hours, and then I went to Unite to collect a parcel. And they had this really lovely Ramadan decoration, which is very cute. I also apologise for how my voice sounds in this voiceover. I'm suffering with a cold. Okay, so I am back from the tutorial. I don't know why I'm crouching on the floor, but I am now. Um, it was supposed to be till 11.45, but we finished at almost, what time is it now? 12 10 we finished at like 12 i think or 11 55 so 5 to 12 but it overran and in the end everyone's just losing concentration we were learning about parkinson's and then we were doing medications for epilepsy uh, so we had we have um, a case-based learning thing i guess essentially we were basically given a case study and then we work through that in our group of like five six people and we answer the questions that are written down on the sheet now i'm back i'm gonna Open up my parcel, see what's in it. I mean, I know what's in here, but I'm going to open it up and see how the things are. And then um, I'm going to look at my schedule and see what I have planned for today because I want to get quite a bit of work done. So I want to go to the gym, then I want to do at least one or hopefully two lectures and go with the tutorial from today. So here I was just going over the tutorial I just had, so I was going over things I didn't understand, questions I couldn't answer, and just reading in depth a bit more to what we learned. So I did it for about half an hour before I went to go pray. You know what, I wanted to say one thing. One of the biggest problems that I have is that I can't concentrate. Like, especially now when I know, because this is my last week at uni, and it's Ramadan um, and I know I just have because um, we're finishing on Thursday because of Good Friday I just know we have three more days and I'm like this is the last week I really can't be bothered to do anything but then I did the same thing when I had my formative exam I was like I'm just gonna be doing lectures and I'm just gonna revise a little bit j like just so I will be sort of prepared for my summative and because I did that, I had so much a backlog of lectures because I wasn't doing the lectures which weren't going to come up in the formative. So I've got like 20 weeks worth of lectures from then and I've got like 20 weeks worth of lectures from now. Obviously that's an over-exaggeration. And then I'm very, very good at planning. I can make detailed plans. Like I make plans for each half an hour of my day because that's the only way I can get anything done. But then I spent like two hours planning and then I'll be like, oh, okay, this is a really good plan. I'll stick to it. When it comes to it, I'm like, no, I'm really sleepy, I want to go have a nap. No, I'm really this, no, I'm really that. And one problem that I have is when I'm making my plans, I don't give myself breaks. I think I'll be able to manage. Like right now, I'm running on like two hours of sleep. 
and I haven't given myself any like nap time because I am I think that I'll be able to just go through my day without having to sleep but because I'm filming this today hopefully hopefully that will mean I will actually get stuff done and not just plump onto my bed um, and then when I'm going to be making my iftar with my friend that's going to be quite a long break it's probably going to take like two hours I would say because we're going to be talking quite a bit so that's going to be my break but then yeah that's the problem I'm I've been procrastinating quite a lot recently which is not good and that just means that now when I go home I'm going to have quite a lot to catch up on and quite a lot of lectures to do and revise before the summative and we've got an OSCE as well so that's an extra exam I need to prepare for but the biggest thing which I have found that helps is firstly I have this thing I got recently and you literally just like you can't see on here but you it's it's like a stand, sand something, I flip it over and my target is that till, because this like varies in time of when it's going to finish, it can like take half an hour, it can take an hour, just depending on the bubbles I guess. So I find this quite useful to concentrate because I'm like, whenever it stops, like whenever it's emptied, then I can stop studying. So that way I can at least get half hour slots or an hour studying done. So this I find quite helpful. The second thing is actually because I get distracted by my phone easily, which is the main reason I've been procrastinating because I am I just find myself on my phone. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm just on my phone scrolling. So filming myself is like I'm doing right now. So I'll just film like me studying and then watch it back in fast motion and it actually is quite um, satisfying. But then also saying, okay, I'm going to make a vlog today. I'm going to upload like a small study with me or whatnot. I'm going to put this down. That really helps as well because that way my phone's occupied. So I can't use it. And also I'm looking forward to the like end outcome, I guess, to see how productive I was. So those are helpful tips if you're procrastinating like me. And I'm sitting here talking and procrastinating again. So I'm going to go. I'm going to pray now and then uh, go gym and come back and get a lecture done. So I'm back and I'm, uh, I'm kind of crouching down on the floor, I don't know why. I came back and I'm very, very tired and exhausted. So what I'm going to do is, um, I, I'm actually going to have a nap because I don't think I'll be able to function otherwise. If I'm going to watch a lecture, nothing will go in, so I'm going to be wasting time either way. So I think it's better for me to have a nap now. I'll go to bed for about an hour or one and a half hours. So what that would mean is I was theoretically going to finish my day today at 2am. But because I'm going to go to bed, essentially I'll just stay up till Sehri, do Sehri. And then go to bed because tomorrow I've got a late start at 2, so from 2 to 4, so that's not too bad. I'll, when I wake up, I'm going to hopefully get a lecture done before I meet my friend for iftar. But this is what I mean, I'm actually really good at planning, like I can make schedules, but I don't give myself breaks and then this is what it ends up being. So technically I'm not even good at planning, I'm good at overburdening myself with work to do without being too realistic so yeah but it is what it is now i can't do anything about it now so i'll have a nap and then hopefully get some work done so the time right now is 5 55 i'm about to go pick my friend up because we're going to be making some samosa chart in my kitchen um i wake up at about like 5 10 ish which was 10 minutes later than i wanted to anyway um, and I have gotten work done, so I was just looking through the slides. We're going to make some more charts, see how long that takes, and then after that, I will actually properly crack down on work. We'll pray Maghrib, obviously, break our fast, and then I will properly get down on work and stay up till Sehri and get two lectures. I have planned to do two lectures and to revise two lectures, so I want to do Neuro 9.1 and 9.2, which is due in for tomorrow, because the, tut the tutorial tomorrow is based on that. And then I want to revise my CPT lectures, CPT 1.1 and 1.2 as well. So hopefully, hopefully I can do that um, and then go pray Tarabi as well. But yeah. <laughs> I 
looks so colourful. <laughs> After we finished, I went to drop my bread off and then I came back, put my abaya on and got ready for the rally. In campus, we have this place called the Aston Student Union where they do Tarawi, so I went to go play there. So we finished Tarawi at about 9 or 9.30, after which I had to go take the bins out with my friend because it was our day on the bin rotor. of yet because when we were doing the dinner it took um when we were, me and my friend were making the iftar it took a bit longer than expected um we were having it was a long overdue kind of sit down debrief on life kind of chat so that was nice so we had that and then i prayed Tarabi, i prayed isha that took a while so I, i've not done anything and and as I said, the time now is 11 o'clock, which means Sari is at 4, which gives me 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours. I don't know why I need to count that. I've got 5 hours um, and I needed to watch 2 lectures for tomorrow and revise 2 lectures. I'm going to spend 1.5 hour hopefully watching the 2 lectures for tomorrow. And then the remaining 2 hours, I'm going to spend an hour each revising a lecture. Hopefully that will be done before Sehri. I am going to fight through all the sleep. You can actually tell how sleepy I am and how exhausted I am. <laughs> My social battery is absolutely drained. Um, but what has to be done has to be done. So that's my plan. I'm actually going to sit down and do the lectures now with about 10 minute break, but I've had enough rest throughout the day and I actually really do need to get this work done. And then do Sehri and go to bed. So let's see how it goes. So I have straight up till Sehri to study. Um, it's currently like four o'clock, I, sh I think, and I am ready to go to bed. I'm gonna drink um, a glass of milk, have a few dates and read Vajra and go to bed. So that was the day in the life. There's people outside this time. That was the day in the life vlog with me. Um, that's just how a typical day goes. This wasn't as productive as I had imagined it to be. And I wanted my studying to be spread out throughout the day. But in the end, it just ended up being a whole chunk at the end of the day, which isn't ideal. But it is what it is. Uh, I can't really do anything about it. But at least I got the work done. And now I'm going to go off to bed. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.